A story we've been following here on this show that frankly does not get much attention anywhere else is the extent to which the supporters of one of the Republican presidential candidates this year are not giving up on him, even though Mitt Romney seemingly has the nomination in the bag. Supporters of Ron Paul are taking over the Republican Party at the state and local level. Ron Paul folks are now becoming Republican Party state chairman in places like Iowa and Alaska. They've taken over in places like Clark County, Nevada, where Las Vegas is, which is awkward if you're Mitt Romney and you're counting on any help from the Republican Party to win in a place like Nevada. In addition to taking over the party wherever they can, Ron Paul folks are also still fighting to win the majority of delegates in as many states as they can. And if they do that again in Nebraska this Saturday, then according to the Republican Party's own rules, Dr. Paul will be eligible to be nominated for president at the party's official convention in Tampa this fall, which means that at that convention, Mitt Romney's nomination will be contested. And there will have to be dueling speeches by him and Ron Paul. And there will be a contested floor vote. And it will not go at all the way these coronations are supposed to go. I realize that this is not happening in Washington, D.C. And it is something the Republican Party bigwigs would like to keep as quiet as possible. But the question of whether or not the Ron Paul folks are going to take over the Nebraska Republican delegation this weekend turns out to be kind of a big deal. And the Ron Paul folks know that. And Nebraska Republicans know that. Very quietly last week, the Nebraska Republican Party confirmed plans that they plan to increase security for their convention this weekend. They said it was in the interest of holding an orderly convention, a private security firm being brought in by the state Republican Party to police their convention when it is facing the threat that supporters of someone other than Mitt Romney will try to win election there. The increased security plan was announced last week. We confirmed it with the party last week, and then today they changed their minds. The state Republican chairman now says the party has reconsidered and withdrawn its plan to hire additional security officers. They say they're hoping for a convention that will be conducted the Nebraska way, by which they mean with civility. Republicans have had a really hard time adjusting this year to the idea that there's ongoing, committed dissent within their ranks. And frankly, the media have helped by ignoring that dissent, by pretending it's not happening. It's happening The fact that these don't look like stereotypical Republicans does not mean that they are not Republicans. They are. And they are taking over at the state and local level while everybody else studiously looks the other way. Seriously, what what exactly is the Republican plan to try to win Nevada, which they've been trying to convince us is a swing state, when this is the Republican Party in the part of Nevada that has three quarters of the state's population? Republicans have a real problem here. That is a big deal and that there is no parallel for on the Democratic side. Trying to ignore that fact will not make it go away. Private security guards or not, these dissenting Republicans that everybody is trying to ignore may do something this Saturday that turns the Republican National Convention this summer on its ear. I realize it is not happening in Washington and therefore the Beltway will not pay attention. I realize that the Republicans who are in charge of the Republican Party don't want to talk about this and so the Fox News of the world will never cover it. But it is happening. And if we believe that party politics mean anything in this country, the fact that one of these parties is being taken over from within and it's going to screw up their big pageant slash prom in the fall kind of seems like a big story. All eyes on Nebraska. Now it's time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell. Have a great night.